Oh, good day there, boys, and uh, good or good evening. Um, we uh doing a little tinkering here th uh, tonight. Um, just unloading a bunch of stuff from uh, uh, work, and uh, put my chapstick down there. Yeah, I don't have my camera with me. I left it at home. I'm just gonna have to start carrying that damn thing with me everywhere, whenever I decide to make a video or see something interesting. But anyways, um, what we have here is a one and a three quarter horse, I think. Well, I don't know. It's a pretty powerful little motor. I think it's for like a a uh, blower for a furnace, furnace blower, my guess, because it was found in a basement. It's brand new. It's been on its side for a while. You can tell the corrosion. And there's not even any wires hooked up to it either yet. So I'm assuming it works. I mean, the shaft looks pretty good. It's uh, got a uh, flat side on it. Um, I think it's, I don't know what they call that, but um, there's a name for it. And I don't remember what it's called, but, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm getting over a cold. That's why I haven't really been putting up any videos. But, um... What I'd like to do with this is, uh, since I don't have a starter for this, and starters for these little bastards, uh, they're like Audi or v VW starters that go on this, and you can see the teeth back there of where it goes and everything. There's like a, well, plus I'm missing the bracket. There's supposed to be like a bracket. If you look back in one of my other videos of the one my buddy got with the electric starter, um, you'll see the whole apparatus that I'm missing. Um, but what I'd like to do with this is uh, mount this uh, this engine, uh, this motor uh, up somewhere around here. Um, it would be kind of difficult and make it really tap, you know, tippy. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, I don't know. We'll make her work. But uh, what I'd like to do is put a pulley on this and then put a belt here. And then you know, start it. So that's a lot of juice to you know, a lot of motor for such a small little engine. It's only four cylinders, but um, either that my that's my first solution or first uh, my first plan or that's plan A. That's plan A. Plan A. This here. Plan B is uh, a starter generator from a garden tractor. Um, uh, I'd have to wait a while probably to get it, but um, I don't know if I have any. I wonder if I have some at home. I bet you I do back in, in New York in that hoard of shit that I got. I bet you I got some starter motors in there, starter gens. And if you don't know what a starter gen is, um, just look at any of my old, my, like my case video of uh, the, the dog, my dog Leah, sitting on my lap. Uh, it's called Merry Christmas. Look at that video and you'll see... Most of y'all know what a starter gen is, but for those of you who don't, it's a big, round, obnoxiously heavy cast iron motor that just like this, and it starts. It's used to start older engines and mostly uh, Kohlers, um, but they use them on Tecumsehs and old brigs too. So they're mainly used for starting engines, um, and they probably used them for other shit too, but. They're made by Delco Remy. Oh yeah, and they yeah they put them in trucks too. They put them in trucks. So um, on old trucks, like from like the 50s and 60s and shit, I guess. But yeah, that's that's Plan B uh, to mount the starter gen on there. Uh, my I got off of my I got off the phone with my buddy, my machinist buddy, um, and uh, he said that the that would work, but the only problem is we'd have to cut this cut the power off once it's going once the engine started it'll just keep running so um we'd have to put a solenoid in or uh figure something out um if you guys got any suggestions let me know um i'll give you the specs here on this uh st louis motor or emerson excuse me it's an emerson you can pause that if you want 115 volts a lot of a lot of oomph for it but uh, I think she'll work but now if this don't work and I go with the starter gen option I'm gonna use this for a compressor um, I, the only problem is I need a compressor head now that's not like fucked up or anything but uh, 
But yeah, I'd love to make my own homemade compressor. Oh, that'd be so cool. Um, and uh, shit like that. Maybe I could use this as my compressor. And then just sell this. It's probably worth the chunk of change right there. Make 50 bucks or something. But, uh, oh yeah, we got the heater going in here. Door wide open. Stupid. Gas, like, right next to the heater. So that's kind of dumb, but I'll unplug it and put it outside and let it cool down where I go. So, but yeah, I just figured I'd make you that video of this this uh, setup here because I really want to get this going. And um, I made more footage of this of this Kohler. Um, I found out if I upload it or not. It's really long, and I don't know if I want to upload it or not. But uh, I forgot to put the damn bolts in this uh, in the bearing plate. So, that's why it leaked oil, obviously, and it looks like it's still leaking oil, but, um, that's just because the bottom, this bottom bolt right here is stripped out, you can't see it, but, uh, I broke the flywheel key on this, um, I don't know where it is, I think it's in this cup, yeah, there it is right there, so, I gotta get a, a new start, or a new, uh, a new key for it, because this thing will, it does have spark, um, and everything else, and obviously if the key's not, if the key's not in, then it's not going to get its spark because that's the magneto right there, so, <coughs> excuse me, um, I found one on the internet, but I need to, I need the, um, shroud from the serial number to send into the dude and get the proper, uh, keyway, so, but, uh, I did have this to, it did cough and almost start. Um, I really want to get this going because this is such a neat little engine and they're super rare and very expensive on eBay if you look them up. Like, complete ones with everything, um, or, and the, they don't even know if the guy, if, the listings say, if they, they don't even know if they run and they still go for, like, five, they're asking five or six hundred dollars from this stupid, but, it's a little four horse. Um, but yeah, that's my plan here get this bitch going and then that bitch going um and uh i'd like to uh get can't see it out there but my generator i'd like to sell that my big own and cck so if you got if anybody watches this and they live in the north carolina uh asheville uh near tennessee bristol blah 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 um contact me and uh i'll send you pictures of it um it runs there's videos of it running but the problem is the points box is broke and you have to have the points box just right or else it won't run correctly um, that's the only thing that's wrong with that is those that stupid points box and that it weighs a ton too and it weights my truck down like a mother son of a bitch <laughs> so box sakes but um yeah uh I'd like to uh you know I don't like to do much of anything in the winter because it's just too damn cold and my boss is planning on putting a bunch of houses here where I'm at on my my sheds like right where we're gonna put a road for all the houses so this is all gonna be going bye bye so I gotta figure out where to store my shit now <laughs> so I don't know shops are like ridiculously priced out here but anything housing wise is just stupid so I don't know what we'll do but um that's that's uh, you know later down the line um but uh yeah I've talked to you enough so um and I also picked that up too this little Bones piece of shit here what is that thing the BL100 the recoil won't recoil's fucked so but um yeah, I'll probably mess with that in the springtime. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's it for this video. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Friggin' rights. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate your support. And uh, we'll uh, talk at you in the next video. See you later.